All right, testing, testing, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 2022 has officially come to an end. Oh, and it was hands down the best year of my life. Why? Because of you guys and all of the content we made. So for your viewing pleasure, here's a compilation of some of the best moments of the year. You got a snack? No? I'll wait. We good? All right. I managed to find a resort online that wasn't too expensive. 60 bucks a night? That alone should have been a red flag looking back. But hey, it had a pool and a private beach. Ooh, a private beach? And when we got there, the first thing we did was go to the private beach. And my first thoughts looking at it... My first job ever was at a Walmart. And there are certain things that you see and learn only at Walmart. Because when I applied, I applied to be a cashier. However, they had to be doing everything. If they had enough cashiers, quote unquote, they would send me to self-checkout. And I would help customers with price checking, deleting items, you know. But the majority of the time, I would just be standing there not knowing what to do. But every once in a while, I would see people ring out TVs for the price of Kool-Aid packets. But luckily, security was there to stop them. Not me. I'd save myself from being called a snitch because my social anxiety could never. I don't get paid enough for this. I got all the ladies with this. Time you gotta give us some time. Ta-da. Wait, wait, bro. Imagine I finish a story time like this. But there were some challenges because that morning I had gym class and there was no way I was gonna change out of this. So aren't you gonna put shorts on? Bro, how am I gonna put shorts on? My gym teacher was actually super chill and he gave me a pass that day so I didn't have to change. So I managed to get through that hurdle. But that wasn't the biggest challenge because we played football. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> There's a big spectrum when it comes to subs. Some are just explaining their life stories. I have three children and seven cats. We had this one guy who was actually a gym teacher and was on his phone the entire time. Didn't talk to us at all. And apparently this one person didn't even show up so they had to get someone else last minute. A sub for a sub. Yo. What's up, what's up? What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, not much planned though. Goody. You want to go skydiving? Skydiving! <laughs> Do you want to go tomorrow? Oh my god, that's scary! Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright boy, clear up that schedule. Peace. <laughs> He's down! Whee! You look at my boy go! The minute that alarm would ring, everybody would go into panic mode. There were those students who would cover their ears about to cry, while other students would try to act unfazed by the alarm. And we would always do them in the worst weather. Bro, why are we doing this in the rain? Yeah, this is so dumb. And the timing was always bad. Like this one time, I was doing a presentation and I felt so confident. Oh, I was killing it. Until out of nowhere that fire alarm rings and we all had to evacuate. And when we go back into the class five minutes later, oh, sorry about that, Jorge, carry on. Um, can I finish my presentation tomorrow instead? So you clearly know about the slap that took the world by storm. No, not that one. This one. Well, Chris Rock's first appearance after the incident is going to be tonight at the Wilbur. This is where Chris Rock just performed. And we got a couple of pictures too. Outside of the theater, there were so many news channels. And your boy wanted to be on TV. So I ran to the first news channel available. I got interviewed by the news. I feel like a celebrity right now. You know what it feels like? You ever walked out of a class after you take a test? And like the period like after is like asking oh, you all the questions. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what's, what's on the test? test? What's, what's, what's number two? two? As we were walking, look what we encountered. People were waiting at the side of the theater for Chris Rock to come out. He's gonna come out of here. Let's go away from him. Let's go away from him. We waited for five minutes with so much anticipation. This is the only time you're gonna see paparazzi in Boston. And the first thing someone said to him when he came out... Hey yo, do you know where Randy is? Randy? Yeah, he's in Kansas. Why? <laughs> what? No, really. Where is he? Yeah, I moved to Kansas over the weekend. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean? He was just here last week. And I can tell you guys this is actually true because I talked to his homeroom teacher who confirmed the rumor. So my boy Randy finessed eight dollars from me and moved sixteen hundred miles away to Kansas, and I still haven't forgotten. Randy, that was my pastelitos money. <laughs> so dumb. You see what's behind me? Well, this was the old Walmart I used to work at. I feel like I lived here at one point. Cause some days I would work from 5 to 10 p.m. and then I'd go in at 7 a.m. the next day. Yes sir, I used to run these aisles. I literally don't know how I did it for so long. And the best part about working here 
I just don't know my way around. I know where all the stuff is. No, Stacy, I know where the toilet paper is. I feel so awkward filming here. I've been walking around for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and believe it or not, I occasionally do miss working here. However, every single one of my favorite coworkers quit. I seriously don't recognize anybody who works here anymore. And do you remember the first few days of COVID and how everybody was super paranoid? Like they wouldn't even let me touch their stuff to ring out. This one person literally sprayed her Lysol all over the conveyor belt and then their food and then on me. Yeah. And some people's IQs go absolutely out of that door. Hey, excuse me. So y'all were out of toilet paper. So I went into the bathroom and took one of the rolls. Is it cool if I can buy it? Um, I don't get paid enough for this, man. Just take it, bro. Oh, for real? Thanks, bro. And who do we have here? <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, mama's birthday. Mama's okay. Birthday. My mom didn't know a thing because we were hiding her in the bathroom until we were done setting up. It was then time for the reveal. Just stay right there, okay? Don't turn around. And you guys are ready. My mom is hands down the biggest Elvis fan I know and she couldn't hold in her excitement. Her favorite song is Suspicious Minds and this surprise was a hit. Everybody was on their feet having such a good time. I couldn't stop laughing and we loved Robert. He even stayed for a bit after to take some pictures and dance some Spanish music. The king was back and he stole the show. I used to be a Walmart cashier, and I forever give respect to workers who work on Black Friday. Cindy, what time are you working on Black Friday? 12 to 10. AM or PM? AM? I'm not gonna get any sleep. Every day before the doors would open, we would have a meeting at the self-checkout floor. It felt like we were on a football team. All right, team, we ready? Yeah! One, two, three, we're a family! Can y'all go any faster? Ma'am, we're doing the best we can. If you want, the line at self-checkout is shorter. I'm not doing self-checkout. They're stealing people's jobs. Karen alert. Ma'am, we have all hands on deck. If anything, self-checkout's actually helping. Huh, whatever. Tell that to corporate. Wait, wh why are you filming? What did I do? Uh, I don't care enough. Hi, corporate. Little snack break, why not? And if you've ever gone to a stadium, you know how big they are. It took us 15 minutes to find our seats. And I was so tired that I had to buy a $6 water bottle. My banana! I'm so mad. Back to the story. And I was so tired that I had to buy a $6 water bottle. <laughs> Wait, let me finish this right now. I had my eyes shut, nose plugged, mouth covered, and the lifeguard working there told me to cross my arms. Hey man, can you not cover up your nose? What? Yeah, you need to cross your arms. Uh, okay. And the countdown was so loud. Three, two. Yeah, the floor dropped before the countdown. Ah! You think they'll let me in? I don't know, maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm tall enough, I'm tall enough. Barely. We got this all to ourselves, bro. Our private jet. Private jet. Can we go? Uh, can we go? I feel like Dumbo. Be high. POV. Be high. Oh, oh, it's too so I almost felt like I was gonna fall. Hey, cool transition, huh? Can they see you? My hair's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so give me your name, your favorite food, and one thing you did this summer. We'll start here and work our way down. And this will go for the entire class. Hi, my name is Megan. My favorite food is olives. Olives, what the? And one thing I did this summer was go to Bora Bora. Awesome, next! And we have those people who just don't care about these questions. Hi, my name is Alex. My favorite food... I don't know. And I did nothing this summer. And we have those people who just go too in depth. Hi, my name is Carlos Montaña de los Santos. For breakfast, I like waffles or pancakes. Really doesn't matter. Lunch, I like BLTs. There's this is really dope place in downtown where. Two hours later. Oh, and one thing I did this summer. Okay, I think we've heard enough. Ready? Not really, no. I'm just gonna be randomly talking right now. First time I've ever been on this. Or do you guys think you're gonna scream or nah? No. So tell me something that you've done that is very crazy and that you absolutely regret. I'm, I'm really nervous right now. All right, so let me tell you guys something real quick that happened today. We decided to go at Six Flags, a very last minute trip. And now I make myself up just so I can talk to you guys and just talk to you about the mic. And oh my God! Oh my God, I'm trying to... Oh my goodness. Oh, this is fun. This is really cool. It's not bad. Oh, it's over? That was it, bro. Dang. It's not too bad. That's cool. Anyways, we did that. Very last minute plans. Wait, can I get a picture? Yeah, I got you, bro. Hell yeah, let's do it. Life is like a roller coaster. 
There was a bunch of ups and there was a bunch of downs. I'm a bit of an extreme person because I really didn't think straight and now I'm going to be front row in this <laughs> super fan. And I'm trying to act calm and I'm trying to tell the story right now. And hopefully you guys can still hear me. It's really quiet. It's really nice. You know what this feels like? This feels like a POV from one of those New England like Six Flags videos. But actually this is my second time riding the Superman because right now I am almost close to the drop. This drop is actually really insane. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to do a story time right now as we're going up. Oh boy. And life is like a roller coaster because there's a lot of ups and there are a lot of drops! <laughs> I was wanted to do this as a little kid. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to see if Cisco can still see me. I don't know if anyone can still hear me. And the minute the ride was over, I felt a rush. However, I felt like something was missing. Excuse me, man. I think I dropped my phone. You didn't, so there's no phone there? Like on your seat or anything? I swear to you. Yep, a phone was lost on the Superman ride. And it actually wasn't my phone. It was my buddy Cisco's phone. We got the exact moment where I lost his phone. Did you catch it? Let me go frame by frame. <laughs> that alone was worth losing the phone. You literally can't make this stuff up, guys. I tried to impress my teacher by getting the big stuff. You know, the big old box of 64 crayons. And the teacher really wouldn't care. It was kind of annoying. But at the same time, that was the way to make friends back in the day. Especially girls. Because everybody would go to me to borrow markers, crayons, pens, pencils. I was the school supplies plug. My car in the Secure the bag, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see Bro. They got the Minecraft backpack. The first day of long distance training, we were on the track. It was me and four other guys. All right, boys, all I need you to do is run and do not stop until I blow the whistle. That's when you guys can rest. Oh, okay, not too bad. This is probably like a warm up. So the coach tells us to go and we start running around the track. I had my headphones in and everything thinking I was all that. Oh, they don't know who they're messing with. One lap down. Easy. And I felt like we were only gonna run for five minutes, maybe three laps, but no. <laughs> 20 minutes later, we're still running and I feel like I'm running out of breath. You know, I was slowly feeling the wear. <gasps> how much longer? Where's the teacher with that whistle? Coach, how much longer? Keep going, I'll tell y'all when to stop. 30 minutes pass and I'm drenched. And the other people who are near the track practicing for their events start taking notice. Damn, no way, you guys are still running? <gasps> yeah. 50 minutes later, I couldn't take it. I had to start power walking. And do you think the other guys on the track doing long distance were getting tired? Come on, Jorge, you need to conserve your energy. Nope, they're still going as if it's nothing. I'm all out of energy. Welcome to Orchada's one-on-one -on -one business class by Orchada Soto. Uh, ignore that. Rule number one, if they're all like, oh, I have money in my locker, they're lying, okay? Don't believe that, that's cap. You know what they look like? This is the face that you should give them. Yeah, you gotta give them that kind of face, you know what I mean? Why are you lying face? Okay, rule number two. Only take food if you're hungry, not because you're nice. Because this is what happened to me. Wait, don't hit the picture yet. Okay, we hit the picture. Go <laughs> back. Yeah, so there was this point where I had over 20 bags of Takis in my locker and I literally didn't know what to do with them. So I literally just gave them all to my buddies. I know I could have sold them, but to who? The people who gave me the bags? That was me. Those are the people trading Takis for loom bracelets. And rule number three, don't take returns. There's no point returns. What is this, Walmart? No, it's not. Get that out of here. See, I'll give you an example. This is what happened to me. Hey man, I broke my bracelet. Can I get a new one? Bro, it looks like you bit it. Man, get that saliva coated stuff out of here. It literally grossed me out. So be careful guys, learn from your mistakes. Man, actually thinking about it, let's actually not bring these back. I've shown you guys before. This is the old Walmart I used to work at. Everybody tells us to stop filming in my Walmart. They're gonna tell me to stop filming in my Walmart, boy. I actually used to walk around this whole parking lot pushing carts. Look how hot it is. See that? I used to walk around in this weather and this heat. I actually used to live a couple minutes from here and I'd actually walk it in the summertime, which would be really annoying. Oh, we got a car pusher right there. We got a couple car pushers. Oh, we got my boys, the car pushing boys. Sir, your worker's impersonating to be a manager. Where are you, Jorge? No, I'm training with Toby. Okay, ma'am. Maybe the yellow vest is misleading, but I'm here now. Let me know what's the problem. I don't need your help i want him fired ma'am we're not gonna fire him he didn't do anything wrong whatever i'm gonna send this video to corporate yeah because that works 
Hi, corporate. What's up? Jorge, say hi to corporate. Toby, say hi. Everybody, one, two, three. Hi, corporate. You know what? Screw this. I'm going home. They literally had me at the entrance of self-checkout telling to the customers, card only, no cash. And I just sounded like an idiot. We only take cards, any cards, no cash, no cash. Oh. What do you... Goodness, bro, you did not just do that. <laughs> What do you mean, no cash? Yep, people got mad. I'm really gonna shake my head, bro. Oh, he's actually doing it! I'm about to cry, bro. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna get yelled at. Don't come upstairs! It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, I buzzed all my hair off during quarantine. <laughs> and I didn't tell my mom until the next day when she woke up. <laughs> And before we walked into our classes, we had an assembly in the auditorium for the new sixth graders. And everybody was nervous. Is this the part where they cut our hair? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, new class. Welcome to middle school. And no, we're not gonna shave your heads. <sighs> Thank God. Yeah, don't fall for those rumors. Cause one of our buddies may have been a little too convinced. What? I was already a step ahead. Dang, Victor, you really screwed yourself over. I look like that guy from LMFAO. It feels like my hair. I'm doing this for you guys. So the green screen parts where I say I have really, really short hair that you guys have already seen, we're gonna film, we're gonna film those right now. Can I trust you? Thank God I have the bald cap on. Cause like, <laughs> now you'll know where to stop. Like, All right, I want a one on the sides and just leave the top like how it is. I'm so scared, dude. Like, I know this is a bald cap, but it just feels like, I can't believe I'm letting you do, bro. <laughs> Don't get too close. Yo, wait, what did you grab? Did you grab actual hair? No, no. No, bro. Relate, mijo. Are you eating? No. How long have you been cutting hair for? About like, a couple minutes. This wig looks really real. This is what I look like when I actually did have a buzz cut. It looks disgusting. All right, let's do green screens again. Hey, give me your name so I can report you guys to corporate. John, Jeff, Jorge, and Kenny. Tell corporate we said hi and we don't give a hoot. Man, Walmart workers were savages. But at the same time, they really included me. Um, if I get fired, y'all better have a backup job for me. Actually, Jorge, thank you for killing time so we can get this guy. Do you want to be a receipt checker full time? My manager said, um, I'd rather push carts. <laughs> Yeah, after we found parking, we were running to the stadium. And we got there at 820. But once we found our seats, dude, we had the time of our lives. Yo, Dylan got in my shot. Well, I was dancing all the way too, and I made a friend midway. <laughs> I can't hear I can't hear a thing. I feel like I always start my videos in the hallway, which is why I decided to start at that chair. I don't know why I'm saying this. <laughs> but anyways, in middle school, I always had this buddy who was the complete opposite. Instead of him coming to school late, he would get picked up early. Every day, an hour before school was gonna end, my teacher would get a phone call. Oh, that's probably for Michael. And again, it happened very frequently. Michael, your dad is in the office to pick you up. Sounds good. It became so frequent where it came to the point where the teacher wouldn't even answer the phone anymore. Michael, your dad is downstairs to pick you up. But miss, you didn't even answer the phone. Do I have to just pick up your things and go to the office. However, this one time the teacher was actually wrong with her guess. Miss, my dad isn't downstairs. The staff said they tried calling you about some papers that are in the office. Oh, really? Oh, sorry about that. An overdue library book can result in a federal crime. <laughs> Imagine I go to jail for a $6 paperback book. I didn't even finish reading it. Bro, you had like a year to finish it. Be quiet, bro. Don't make me feel bad about myself. Anyways, I guess we had to go to the library and show our faces. I was literally crying when we were walking inside and my mom looked so so mad. We showed the letter to the librarian and her eyes popped. Cause she had nothing to do with it. That letter came from the city. <laughs> and we had the book too. It was in perfect condition. Yeah, cause you didn't even read it. Bro, that's not the point. <laughs> Anyways, the librarian, bless her soul. Because she made an appeal. She came up with an appeal to say that we went to Guatemala. That we left in March and throughout that whole time, we literally couldn't return the book. Which I thought was absolutely bizarre. But hey, in our defense again, the book wasn't destroyed or damaged. It was in great shape. Yeah, because you never read it. If you say that one more time. Watching cars. All right, gang, you know the vibes. That phone's going to be chucked in the fish tank. Hopefully. 
Hopefully. Yes. What do you mean? So I can get the fourteen. So you get the fourteen. You gotta wait two weeks then. You're right. They got the messy Gatorade. Oh. They got the Serena Williams Gatorade. Oh, we gotta support our our athletes. You know what I mean? Shut up. Already, we headed to the aquarium. We headed to the Bad Bunny concert. Yo, he's a weirdo, bro. Don't talk to him. After our pit stop, we then headed to Boston. The one thing I hate about Boston is parking. Four We're on the fourth floor. Everybody wants to go see the fish too today, apparently. Right there, right? Yeah, what a nice parking spot. Look at the view. Wow. <gasps> yeah, I may have gotten a little distracted looking at that view. What is wrong with you? Good? Yeah, Bruh. Are you distracted by oh, the view? So yeah, we're already off to a great start, huh? Luckily, we didn't scratch the car or dent it. What a miracle. That was funny. Oh my you God. You got that too. Yes. But you know what, them little starfish. Oh, here reminds me of Snorlax. We find his brother, it's turtle. Boys. What did you think the ropes just fall in and burn? They survived. They're looking up, look at them. They're looking, look, homie, homie's waiting for it. Yeah, bro, he's sleeping. Let's take a selfie with the pants. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Also, would it really be a school lunchtime without somebody making a beat and freestyling at the lunch table? All right, Cisco, do your thing. Mm. That's it, bro. That's it? That's tempo. all he did. That's all tempo. he got. You lose tempo from what? Oh, the pressure of the camera? Hey. Hey. Lunch was lit. Lunch was crazy, nah, my bro. My middle school, every kid, every single kid in that freaking lunchroom, there were 200 kids in there. No music. <laughs> <laughs> and the vice principal could not do anything about it. You could freaking... not do anything about it. <laughs> I got him telling story times they now. They would just be smacking on the table, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. The one and only Fluffy. We sat down with him, talked with him, and had some chocolate cake. I mean, what? You can't make this up. It sounds so fake. I got, I got picture proof though, so it's not a cap. And I had one final sticker in my pocket that I gave to him. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. That's Gabriel Iglesias if you don't have an accent. Gabriel Iglesias, Gabriel Iglesias. El Fluffy, el pinche gordo. Anyway, we're hanging out right now with, um, yeah, that's right. Orchata Soto, that's right. <laughs> they only got one goddamn sticker. I asked them for more. Uh, shut up. I asked her for more, and all he had is this one, is right here. And, and, that, and that says a lot, because you know what? If they had more, they'd be more prepared, and I could do more. But this is it. That's all they got is just one. So follow their channel if I, I can't promise you what they're going to give you, because clearly they, they only have one sticker. But at least I have it. It's mine. It's my sticker. I just, I'm the sole owner of this one right here, Orchata Soto. So yeah, follow them, and hopefully they make your wildest dreams come true. You see, no, follow me at Fluffy Guy. I got a lot of stickers, not like this one right here. I'll, I'll hook you up. So yeah, bye. Okay, class. So today we're gonna talk about foods. This is a gatu, and this is a croissant. Oh my god! <laughs> she said the thing. George, go outside. Yep, she would kick kids outside. And again, I didn't care. But this one time, I was chilling outside the class and I see my advisor walking down the hallway. Oh, snap! And I knew that if she saw me, she would call my mom. Oh, Jorge, what are you doing outside the class? Oh, nothing. I just had to go use the bathroom and I'm waiting for them to open the door for me. Oh, okay. Are you enjoying French class? Oh, I love it. I run into the bathroom with the guitar and all the boys follow me. We got ready, got in a circle, and sang a song. And you may be wondering, what song did we choose to sing? Well, none other than Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Here's the footage. Scene change. This is actually a cool looking setup. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but tell me if this has also happened to you. I'd be waking up for school all tired. And throughout the entire day, it would just be so hard for me to stay awake and be focused. I could have had three cups of coffee and still wouldn't have woken up. And I'd try my very, very best to stay awake and make it through the day. Even after school, when I'm with friends, it would be so hard for me to not go to sleep. Jorge, you need a nap. Yeah, you're right. I should try to sleep early tonight. But the minute I go home and try to sleep at like 8 or 9 p.m., 
p.m. I just can't. My eyes are wide open and I'm fully energized. And that's where my nighttime motivation comes in and I start doing so much. Either I'm doing homework or being on my phone. That just leads me to sleeping late again. Lethal dose, 6.2 million Scoville, right? Something like that. The yeah, black line, <laughs> hot sauce. Ingredients, caution, extremely hot, shake well, best of refrigerated. Oh. <gasps> Huh. It was too liquidy because I was so used to the paste. The hottest hot sauce that the store had, like shaking, dude. The fifth hottest hot sauce in the world. Let's go. Oh, it's bitter. It's so bitter. You okay? I might spit it out. <laughs> spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out. Oh, I got well, Is it bad? Terrible. It's in my mouth though. Is it spicy? Do it, bro. Give me enough. <laughs> oh, my head. My head. <laughs> ah. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta run. <laughs> this was not. Yeah, this was not. <laughs> Dude, I can't stop crying. I want to look at stars. I want to look up at the sky. What? Do you feel alive? I don't know. We would charge $15 and 10 green bucks. And you're probably wondering, Jorge, what are green bucks? Well, that was our school money. So for example, if you behaved in class, they'd got on a test or were caught doing a good deed, then the teacher would reward you with one green buck. And we would have to collect 10 for this field trip in particular. For us good kids, it was easy. Dang, what am I gonna do with all these? I have like 30 now. But for the bad kids, it was a problem. Cause they were lucky if they can get their hands on one or two. So what did the bad kids do so they can go on the roller skate? Skating field trip, counterfeits. Green bucks were made of paper, duh. So once kids had one green book, they were able to make photocopies and cut out more of them. However, there was a huge problem because real green bucks were printed on colored paper. And these guys, they would make photocopies on white paper. So you can immediately tell which ones are real and fake. And during lunch, I would sit at a table where kids can sign up for the roller skating field trip. They would give me the $15 and their green bucks. Thank you for your business. And this one time, a kid who I knew was a troublemaker came up to my table to sign up for the roller skating trip and he handed me 10 white green bucks they were the fake ones and i didn't know what to do because the kid was really big and you don't want to mess with him i look at the green bucks and i look at the kid so what's your name sir kevin sounds good thank you for your business i don't know how to say no so i just took the white green bucks i'm so sorry <laughs> put it on your chin like this don't put it on under your chin there you go. What do y'all think, huh? Looking kind of sus? <laughs> you look so stupid. Cisco. Oh yeah. Yo, where were you at? Where are you at? Where was you at the last time I saw you? I hope this picture inspires you. I could be naked right now and nobody will say anything. All right, the mic is working now. Wait, oh, you can see my hand though. I think that's dumb. I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Look at that. I touched the mic to me. <laughs> yeah. It blends in. That's honestly sick, dude. Imagine I can tell you the story time like this. Should I? Check. Anyways, back to trick-or-treating. Not only were the neighborhoods that we would go to were stacked with candy and king-sized bars, every once in a while, I would say once or twice a year, we would encounter the holy grail of Halloween trick-or-treating. It would be every kid's dream, the please take one bucket. Cause some residents in these neighborhoods were either lazy or just couldn't be at their house for Halloween and hand out candy that night. So what would they do? They would leave out a bucket filled with candy with a sign that said, please take just one. And I may have been a little deep with this because I was known as the bucket stealing expert or that's what I would call myself at least oh snap I need a break wait <laughs> I need a breather it's getting hot in this Ooh, we made it all right let's keep going hey can I return this item um sure but where's the box oh I threw it away um then we can't accept this item ma'am wait but that's blasphemy blasphemy where's your manager here we go <laughs> Yep, the customer service desk is a breeding ground for Karens. Hey ma'am, so what seems to be the problem? I want to return this. You have a box? No, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> 
<laughs> she said she doesn't have a box. Stop laughing. Oh, wait till corporate hears about this one. Hey, man, I want to put this on layaway. I can't buy it now. My guy, this is a box of Ritz. Excuse me, sir. Can I put this on layaway if I don't have enough money for the deposit? Um, no. Unfortunately, we can't do anything. But I don't want anyone else to buy it. I don't know what to tell you, sir. Hmm. Oh, I'll just hide it behind a bunch of other stuff in an area in the store that nobody goes to. Like the fishing rods. Is it just me? Or does Walmart go crazy with their Halloween decorations and what they sell? Because when I was working here, the minute it'd be August, my store would deck out with costumes, decorations, Halloween stuff. Like, summer isn't even over yet. Because one aisle down is back to school. You know, pencils, pens, backpacks. And the aisle next is makeup, wigs. And the aisle next is makeup and wigs. But hey, I respect the hustle because the early bird catches the worm. Walmart was always three months ahead when it came to holidays. I mean, just look at this. There's already Christmas stuff out. And whenever I would walk by these shelves at this time of the year, I would have a mini heart attack. Ugh, already? It's too early for this. Don't get me wrong, Christmas is awesome. I love it. But you know what? Let me get through Halloween first. And they would do that for every single holiday. Like for example, in December, they're gonna start putting out Valentine's Day stuff. Now I gotta stress about that holiday, you know, being single. But hey, we'll save that holiday and all those story times for another video. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, Halloween decorations. Make sure to get your Halloween stuff now early on because if not, the shelves are gonna be empty. <laughs> it's actually empty, I, I, I can't believe that. <laughs> So you said that this is the scariest one, or one of them? It's Yeah, it's one of them. And you want me to be in the front? Oh, one, yeah, 1,000%. 1, you have to. I've been in the front all the time. It's good content, right? You have to do it for the YouTube. This is why I came here. This is why I came here. Who's yelling? Oh, yelling, yelling. Ah! <laughs> walk faster, walk faster. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, y'all yeah, better walk. Oh, my God. Walk, 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 walk. Come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs> Mommy! Oh! <laughs> go, go fast, go fast! I'm sorry, my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. That was brutal. That was brutal. Okay. Yeah. I'm just like, grab a little closer. <laughs> Attention students, as you may know, Halloween is tomorrow. Therefore, I got the green light that you're allowed to wear your costumes. All right, let's go. However, there are some restrictions. No knives, no blood. Hey, it makes sense, makes sense. No masks, gloves, eye patches, face paint, hats, wings, glitter, mustaches, fake glasses, no accessories like brooms or anything fun. Wait, what? Oh, and no candy. Happy Halloween. Man, you could describe 80% of the costumes at that point. Oh no, oh no. Oh, yeah, I'm in the front, oh my god! Right. <laughs> oh, this is a real person. I hear them, I hear them. <laughs> Yo, why are you so scared here, Chata? I'm scared, dude. Oh, no, Yo! Oh my god, bro, where are you at? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah. Right in front of you, blind? What's I'm going sorry. on? You are blind, put your glasses on, what is this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Screw that. Good. Screw that. <laughs> Screw that. What'd you think? That was that was alright. So that was nothing. Don't worry about side. Oh my god. Right? Another scene change. We wouldn't prioritize our looks too much. However, a very few number of kids felt like they were at a red carpet photo shoot. Some kids literally came in suits and had their hair slicked back. And some even paid for a different color backdrop. And I would not be surprised if they paid for all the extra retouches and extra prints too. The first person from our friend group who got their pictures taken was Randy. You guys remember Randy, right? I still need my $8. He was so tense and looked nervous behind the backdrop. <laughs> and we were trying so hard not to laugh. All right, take your hands out of your pocket. Uh, uh, okay. Chin up. <laughs> he was so shy. And his final picture had his eyes popped out in fright. Maybe from the bright flash, too. All right, guys, we're about to do a couple Q&As right now with some of the spooky people. Oh, he looks scary. Look at him. Who am I here with? Hello, hello. And, oh, and the question, I got a question. What's your favorite holiday? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I've never done this kind of YouTube. That's so funny. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to say goodbye. Should I fake cry? <laughs> Gone too soon, bro. Bro, now he dead dead. Man, he looks sad. All right.
Is it just me or when your siblings make food and it's actually good, you never admit it? You don't want to give them that one up. Damn, who made this chicken? It's so good. Your sister made it. She learned a new recipe online. What? Uh... Um, well, in that case, man, this is some of the worst chicken I've ever had. Just look how burnt it is. The gym locker rooms will be really loud, too. People will bang on the lockers and make a beat. They would have challenges on who could slam the lockers the loudest. Oh, that's nothing, man. I feel like I have story times for days now. And I see a lot of you guys commenting that now. Dude has infinite stories. The cool thing about wearing sunglasses is I can stick my face out to the sun and I don't have to close my eyes. And you'd have to wake up early, the morning of, to find out if your school is really canceled. Oh, we'd watch the news while putting on our snow boots and winter coats. You know, just in case they don't cancel class. And one by one, the news reporter would announce the schools that are canceled in your city. Martin Luther King High, Washington Middle School. Come on, come on, come on. And the minute they would announce your school, it feels like you just won the lottery. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I was gonna do my next scene change here, but this this sun, yeah. It's just ironic talking about a snow day video. Seeing the light. Anyways, let's fast forward to Christmas day again. Cause my mom, when giving gifts, she would never write the names on the presents to say who it's for. And she would forget what was inside each gift once she wrapped it up with paper. Um, are you sure this makeup palette is for me, ma? Oh my God, I'm so sorry, it was for your sister. My mom would have to shake each present to see what was in it. Hmm, this one sounded like the Lego set you wanted me home. Wait, did you just spoil my present? Yeah, spoiling presents would always be a common thing in our household. Mijo, I'm currently at GameStop. Send me a picture of the game you want. Um, okay. And I would catch myself doing the same exact thing too. Hey sister, so what makeup palette do you want again? You mind sending me a link? Happy New Year! Hey! As a final tradition, everybody in my family would hug each other. We would go one by one wishing everybody a Happy New Year. However, our family is an odd number. It's five of us. So when it came to hugging them, sister, hey, come here. Happy New Year. Okay. Dio, uncle. Feliz año. Yeah, feliz año. I would just be standing there in awkwardness not knowing what to do all by myself. Man, what a fantastic way to start off the year. Oh, I'm sorry, mijo. Come here, come here. Let me give you a hug now. Okay. Should have worn that red underwear. <laughs> Let me share with you guys one more thing that happened at the book fair this one year. After I bought my things, we had to wait until everybody else finished. That way we can go back to the class as a whole unit. And while we were waiting, I was playing around with my bag along with some other friends who were already done buying their things as well. We were practically having a mini fight with our bags. I was going ham too. I would have knocked out my buddy Josue in a heartbeat. And since I was swinging my bag so hard, he was backing away from me. Oh, and he would walk backwards more and more until out of nowhere. Hey guys, stop! The librarian's getting mad, but we don't listen though. And as he's walking backwards, Josue takes a step that's a little too far. And he trips. And he falls backwards onto a cardboard display. You know, one of the cardboard book fair displays. And the whole thing, along with all the books, just falls. And in the moment, it felt so slow, like if we were in a slow motion movie. No, no. Yep, Josue got covered in Diary of Whoopi Kid books. And the librarian was so scared. Are you guys okay? Ooh, I'm telling the principal. You know, Brittany always had to chime in and say something. And yeah, we were fine. Just never allowed to go back to a book fair ever again. You know what? Let's actually expose Randy real quick because I know I still have my sixth grade yearbook in here. Imagine if it's this first one. Friend TV again. It's gotta be in here. Escalera. Oh, Escalera. Oh. I can't even make these up anymore. Ah, my yearbook. Oh, look at your boy, though. Rate right that. Wait, wait, cover, cover, everybody. This is Juan. I'm about to expose Juan. One and only Randy. Yeah. Right next to Juan. So, if Randy, if you're still out there, just know I still need my $8. Yeah. Cling! Cling, cling, cling! Yes, sir, if you made it to the end of this, thank you so much. Here's an even better 2023. Bye.